So I know I said that I wanted to do things in chronological order, but when the Red Wings make a trade like this, they jump to the top of the queue. Because the Red Wings today acquired defenseman Radim Simek and New Jersey's 7th round pick in 2024, previously acquired by San Jose on February 26, 2023, in exchange for forward Klim Kostan. Oh no... Klim Kostan has just gotten traded, and I know what you may be thinking. Okay, why is this a sad thing? Why are Red Wings fans sulking and weeping about the departure of Klim Kostan? The guy sucked in 33 games. He only had four points. Why are people sad about this? And here's the thing about Klim Kostan. For all intents and purposes, he was actually a pretty all right player. He did some pretty good things, and as a player who's only 24 years old, 6'4", 212, big left-handed dude, signed till the end of next season making $2 million a year, you could very well say that there's a lot of value in what Costan brought. He brought size, he brought a very nice element of speed and some potential of producing offensively. It's just, the guy had no playing time. His position in the Red Wings lineup was so far down there consistently that when we did see a goal or an assist or anything pop itself up once in a while, a lot of Wings fans rejoiced. Hey, he finally got a point. Good for him. He kind of deserved that. He deserves a little bit more than what the Wings are giving him. But at the end of the day, he's gone. So this is definitely not the happiest piece of Detroit Red Wings trade conversation to be bringing up here on the channel, but I will say this is good for Costan. The San Jose Sharks of all teams, yeah, they're probably going to give him some better opportunities than what the Wings have been setting up here. And when it comes to everything coming back in return, you could debate that, oh, it's a trade of a guy for a guy plus a draft pick, right? Like, that makes sense. Radim Shimek is probably going to find himself in Detroit next week, right? No, that's probably not going to be the case here. Radim Shimek has mostly been an AHL caliber defender, 31 years old, 6 feet, left-handed guy, signed till the end of this season, making $2.25 million a year, and this season with the Barracuda, he got 16 points in 40 games played. Last year, he played with the Sharks. Two years ago and three years ago, he played mostly with the Sharks. He's been a part of the Sharks organization for a while, but we all recognize the Sharks kind of stink. So a lot of the guys that are playing at the bottom of their lineup probably wouldn't be in most other NHL lineups. So for Adam Schimek, he'll most likely stick around in the Grand Rapids Griffins. Meanwhile, when you talk about the roster spot that's freed up by Klim Kostan getting sent away, we had David Peñota go out there and say that the Red Wings are expected to call up Jonathan Berggren. His name continues to swirl around the trade winds, but for now, he's been told he's going to be called up. And I get what you're thinking. You might say, okay, is this it? Like, is Stevie Y done? We just did Costan for Simic and a seventh, and that's it? Like, what else is there to do here? To be honest, there are some extra things I feel the Red Wings could try to explore if they really wanted to, but this trade of Costan for Shimek is actually a pretty good one, because if you take a look at the contracts, you take a look at the salary being held up in these players... The fact that Shimek and Kostan are both making roughly the same amount of dollars, Kostan's 2 million, Shimek is 2.25, but the thing is, Radim Shimek expires at the end of this season. Meanwhile, Klim Kostan, his contract expires next year. And for a Red Wings team that is going to try to take their extra money and re-sign guys like Sider and Raymond, they still have a ways to wait to go before they're able to get this done. Let's go over to the Red Wings and their cap friendly page here and just take a look at some of these expiring players, or expiring contracts, I guess you could say. Joe Valeno needs a new deal. Lucas Raymond needs a new deal. Moritz Sider needs a new deal. Goss to spare if you wanted to talk about him. They could re-sign him as well. Not to mention, for the goaltending side of things, you still got Billy Huso, who is pretty much an anchor at this point. James Reimer's going to expire. And when it comes to everybody else, I mean, David Perron is also a UFA. So let me know in the comments as to whether or not you feel it'd be appropriate to re-sign him. But this move makes a lot of sense when it comes to the cap implications. The Red Wings are shaving off a year of that $2 million a season commitment because Kostan expires next season, Radim Shimek's contract expires at the end of this year. So it's a pretty good piece of business when you're taking a look at just the financial point of view. It's not really the kind of trade where you go, oh yeah, this is going to significantly improve the Red Wings, you know? They're going to go out there and be a better team. This is the contending move. This is the guy they needed to go out 
out there and solidify their wildcard position. No, this is not any of that. This is just a minor trade of sending away a guy whose opportunity in Detroit really didn't align with his skill set. And he'll be going over to a new opportunity where everything's going to be given to him, hopefully on a silver platter, because the San Jose Sharks have nothing to lose by doing that. Meanwhile, for Shimek, he'll finish off the season in Grand Rapids. He'll probably become a free agent. He may resign. He may not. Who really knows? But the point is that $2 million AV salary is not going to be on the Red Wings cap for next year. Because based off of Shimek's profile, I'd be very surprised if he re-signed for anything above like $1 million. Like, he could very well get a two-way deal next year and nobody would bat an eye. So at the end of the day, the Wings are kind of just making some solid business here. It's not the biggest trade in the world, but it does help them. Plus, you have yourselves that draft pick that was acquired here. 2024 NHL 7th round pick. I'm interested in seeing what that draft actually looks like so let's go out there and go to the cap friendly page we'll go to the what is it the devil's pick new jersey let's go all the way down here to the new jersey devils and the seventh round okay no not the seventh round i'm an idiot it was yeah new jersey's seventh round pick in 2024 what happened with that where is it it's not even displayed here that's wild come on cap friendly please 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 we got to scroll all the way down ourselves don't we okay so here it is, uh, seventh round pick for the New Jersey Devils was, wow, sent over in the Timo Meyer trade. That's what it was. Okay, so the Timo Meyer trade, February 26, 2023. I'm sorry, I'm not like a lot of you wizards who comment on these videos. I don't know trades that happen on certain days off the top of my head, but this seventh round pick that was sent over to San Jose in the Timo Meyer trade last year is now going over to the Red Wings in this Shimek for Costan trade. So pretty tidy piece of business, all things considered. The Red Wings are getting themselves some extra draft capital. It's not a lot, but it's still important. I'd say that maybe the potential of a Klim Kostan in exchange for a seventh round pick is pretty okay, especially when you consider the dollar amounts being shaved here. But yeah, Stevie Y is making some moves. They're not big moves, but they are moves. We'll go back to regular scheduled programming by talking about some of the other trades after this video. But for now, if you're a Detroit Red Wings fan, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How overwhelmed are you that Klim Kostan has been given up on by the Detroit Red Wings. Do you think that's the right way to go about it? Do you think it's really they gave up on him, or is it more so they're trying to set him up for a better opportunity? I will say for San Jose fans, y'all got a good one here in Costa, and he'll play well, he'll play hard, and he will hopefully be able to produce a lot more points than just four in 33 games played like he had with Detroit. He was a 20-point player last year with Edmonton. 11 goals, 10 assists. He's a pretty good guy, all things considered. So San Jose fans treat Costan nicely. A lot of Wings fans, I'd say they did, but unfortunately, he just wasn't really placed too high up in the lineup. He was in the bottom six most nights. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Wings trading Costan over to San Jose for Shimek and a seventh round pick. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.